Hello Crusaders, it's Freddie Mac, and we're back for another tutorial on the Yesu FTM 500. And today we're going to talk about DTMF. Now, to illustrate some of this that I'm going to cover, I've opened the uh, RT Systems programming software. And I've already done a read data from SD card and it populated my list. As you can tell, I've put in 56 channels so far. And a wide variety of areas, mainly Tulsa, Muskogee, Bixby, Altmulgee, and some other areas I plan on traveling to in the future. But let's worry about DTMF. So let's go to radio menu settings. I think that's the one we want and let it populate a window and here you've got uh, common one common two dtmf internet and you can see here i have put in some predefined dtmf codes and got the auto dialer set for auto and you know i'm not exactly sure what that means. I mean, I understand the terms, but when I was testing this earlier, I have to hit the PTT to trigger it, so it triggers all digits, so maybe that's what they mean by auto. Not exactly sure. Not exactly sure. So nonetheless, we'll figure that out. Band A channel 1, band B channel 7, and that may be issue that I was having earlier so let's look up our all-star node it should be 444.100 right there it is so let's channel 7 that settings radio menu settings DTMF and a channel 8 just for giggles that's what we'll do. Okay, while we're here, you know, let's just leave it just like that for now. Let's check some of these other settings. This is internet wire settings that's in their own little box, so that's a separate section. Okay, so let's close this, and it says apply changes and close. So now we're going to come up here and write data to the SD card and hit it there so now we'll go out to the truck and see how these settings work I'll see you there hey everybody it's Freddie Mac we're here out in the truck and we're going to talk about the FTM 500 and DTMF now I've already programmed in some pre-programmed DTMF into uh, into the memory of the radio so I wanted to show you a few things. Actually, when a long press on function, if you hit this bottom knob, it will, this bottom knob here, when you turn it while you're in menu mode, it'll go from subject to subject. Look at the top here where it says SD card when you turn it. Now you're in APRS, now data, now wires X, uh, group mode, digital, signaling, yada, yada. But if you go up here to 12, hit auto dialer, the default setting is off and I have switched it to on. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Yeah, I'm doing great. Let's go back, long press, 12 auto dialer on. You wanna make sure that's on. Now in the software, I went ahead and put in some other, well, let's go on down. Was 40. Nope. There it is. DTMF memory and signaling. I went ahead and put in some codes for my all star hookup. Like star 3, 27225, that's the Philadelphia link. Star 1 would bring it down. So once you pick it, I'm sorry. That's to show you that it's in there, but you want to come back out here and short press, DTMF, pick the one that you want to auto dial, 
we're gonna do a star three and then hit our PTT. <laughs> Well, welcome back to part two. After the technical difficulties, I had a little issues with the battery. Still might be having a little issues with my battery. I'm not sure what it is. Got something going on in the truck. Nonetheless, as you could see right here at the top of the screen, you see that little square looking thingy? That's an icon letting you know that your auto dialer is turned on. I can show you that. Here, if we go back to 12 and turn the auto dialer off, whoop, you, like that, back out, it's gone. But for this demonstration, we want the auto dialer on. And there we are. Now, like I said before, I have some DTMF strings already programmed into the radio. So I just wanted to show you real quick how to access those quickly. Short press on your quick menu if you've got the uh, if you've got the DTMF option there, you can select it and thumb through here with your preset strings. And hit enter. That's a disconnect code for All Star. And boom, you're sending DTMF. Nonetheless, you hit the back button and you're gone again. So this little quick menu is the faux shizzle mo tizzle in my opinion, because you can customize it to whatever something, whatever items you want to access quickly. I especially like the transmit power, boom, boom, boom. Easy to get to, quick automatic repeater shift, your squelch, your wires frequency, tone code, your DTMF, oh yeah, and APRS, turn it off or on very quickly. Not bad at all, but that's how you do DTMF on the Yesu FTM 500. And you can also just quickly jump back and forth to your programmable. West Texas and talk to Luke's, there's my <laughs> uh, W5 SLG. That's uh, my all-star mode. And you can jump out of it again just as quick as you jumped in, or you can change your display and grab the scope. That's amongst your program channels, so if you change that back to regular, go to VFO. Let's say we're over in the 159. Turn on the band scope. You can start seeing activity that's popping up here and there throughout different bands. There we go. It's really neat. I've never had this option until I had, well, I had it in the FTM 300, of course, but it just seems like it's easier to use with this radio. And that right there, I'm sure, is the digital interference that I get from I don't want to call it interference per se. It's a uh, Moto Turbo, which is technically DMR, and our local police department uses. A lot of times you can't hear it with analog. If you do, it is horrible sounding. That's it. Nothing you care to really sit and listen to. Nonetheless, it's a wonderful machine, the DTM, the, uh, the FDM 500 from Yesu, which also has a DTMF feature and lots of menu items, lots and lots. So that's how you do it. It's a wonderful radio and I'm still in love with it. This is KD5 FMU, your ham radio crusader. Wishing the good signals to be yours. Seven threes, everyone. Catch you in the next video.